What's going on, guys? This is episode two of that Road to 315 Bench. You see me doing my warm-up set here. Just lift the bar a couple 25s, just trying to get in there a little more. You seen what I did for last week. Uh, this is recorded in hindsight, so bear with me. But the program stays the same for two weeks, and then I go to slight variations on my bench. Just because I didn't actually deload before I went into this for my other program. I was just lifting heavy. Kind of just drew back a little bit and then went from there. Yeah, I got really excited there. Really excited. <laughs> I think I got excited because my shoulder wasn't feeling pain. Anyways, like I was saying, I just drew back. So I added in a little variation to kind of give myself a slight little bit, a little bit of fatigue management. But look at me bench. So you see how I warm up. I just start with the empty bar and I add weight in some decent, smart increments to get up to my working weight. How do I know what's a working weight? When it's a challenge to get past five reps, you know, then it's time to, okay, draw back, take the set serious. I might add maybe five pounds from there because, you know, you did all that work in such a short time. So that affected how much you could output at the end. So you could probably do a little bit more with rest, but that's how I find my working weight usually. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know why I was doing these half reps. I know I need to trust my chest. Don't know why I wasn't doing it. I think my shoulder was giving me issues, premature celebration. Here it is from a different angle. The lighting got like much better from set to set. But like, okay, I'm actually like touching my set chest this time, like doing like full reps. So here it is, you just see me repping it out. I've been getting practice. Uh, this has been working. My issue, I never thought it was like to a hot, the first issue. My issue is not strength. My issue is technique. Once I got my technique, I figured and I was right. My strength starts following along and I'm just repping it out as you guys see here. I make some pretty good jumps, so looking good. Here you see me doing my IYT raises. These have been a blessing for my shoulder. Uh, I, I truly believe just strengthening the shoulder has like greatly helped my cause. Again, I'm not a physical therapist. I'm just a bro. I also didn't have an injury. But just like when you feel a strain or irritation, taking a step back with lighter weight weights, doing high rep steps, full range of motion things with the muscle can be very beneficial. So someone, I think all the benches were taken up, so I had that in my face, you know, in this super beautiful position. And, but you know, the work has to get done, it has to get done. Did another bench in between here, but you see here, finally got a free bench. So I was able to adjust that incline. Uh, either way, I still believe if you, however you can do your raise, your exercise is an efficient way. But again, uh, going through that full range of motion, even playing with an incline, all these variables, going through lightweight with a band, stretching, they can make you feel better. They can, they can do wonders to help boost tendon resistance. They can make you a little more resilient, make your body a little more flexible and mobile. And you do whatever you gotta do to keep lifting heavy, guys. So the only real difference between week one and week two for me, not interested in weight jumps, is I'm playing with the reps. Uh, I had a certain rep that I hit uh, last week, week one. They were three to five reps with this weight. Now I want to mimic that performance and maybe do one to two reps better. Maybe I'll add five pounds, but no big weight increases. Uh, it's, what is it? It's an example of wave progression, like just doing the same weight and giving your body time to adapt. Yes, in the beginning, when we're new, newbies, novices, and we can adapt faster, you can handle uh, linear progression. You can handle the weight changing faster. But at some point, you're going to have to switch to a method where your body can get used to the weight, get used to the stimulus, and adapt over a period of time. Because again, muscle doesn't take days or hours to build. It takes weeks and sometimes months. So you have to practice with the weight. That's my goal here. Just stay here, get comfortable, and knock these sets out. Here you see me knocking out some tricep press downs. Uh, anecdotally, I've heard tons of people say these are very vital for uh, getting a lot of tricep strength and just mastering that pushing down maneuver of the tricep. Uh, what is it? I like to do them, but you gotta be careful. You don't want that front though. You don't wanna start leaning in and then your chest and your shoulders start doing it. So you wanna stand up straight. You wanna make sure it's just those arms flexing down. And so I did them in front of me. 
I like to superset my triceps, so I hit them above head after I did that. The difference between the above head, above head and the front, the above head gives you a really nice stretch on the tricep. And again, there's research to suggest that taking the muscle to a greater range of motion with resistance can aid in like hypertrophy, so it can help you get bigger. So I'm burning out doing these sets here. Man, this back is really, really uh, rounded, but hey, whatever. So here's another set of me bench pressing. And this one, I say it's particularly interesting. If you watch, uh, I'm benching, I'm benching. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure it did not feel right on my shoulder. So I just, I abandoned it. And I, you know, that's how you safely execute getting out from under a bench. But it didn't feel right on my shoulder. I'm not gonna press the line and hurt myself. So I put the bar back. But the reason I know it wasn't a strength issue, and again, what my biggest the technique issue is, you can watch as soon as I put this bar back, take a 20, 30 second break, hop back under there and I start repping it out again. So it's not a strength issue. It was a technique issue. I felt it in my shoulder and was like, hey, let's not be stupid. Let's call it. This is when you got to use that years of experience to be like, hey, uh, let's cut the rep because one, it's no use to build a useless or a dumb, inefficient mental map. But two, it's no reason to get hurt over the weight. Your pride is nothing in the gym. So if it doesn't feel right, cut the rep, come back safer. So here you go, me being depressed. And here's that set, like watch my setup. My setup, it, it's different. My body feels different. I've learned that my biggest issue with my bench press and many people's issue with their shoulders is one, you got weak shoulders. They don't go through a big enough range of motion. But two, you're not getting that scapular depression correct when you're doing the bench. And I'm just learning, so go watch other people. But when you're doing the bench, you're supposed to pull those shoulders back and lock them in. Your shoulders do not move. They should be pinned to the bench. And we all know this, but executing it is different. So I failed that bench set. You know, it's no reason to press the line once you get a failure. So I did my couple reps. I cleaned it up. And then I hopped on this isolateral chest machine. I told you guys, I love this machine. I get my heavy pressing out with my bench press and then I can focus on each arm. I can focus on some pressing power without 0% of the risk of a bench press on this chest machine. You can do the same with dumbbell presses. You can do the same with one of those, what is it called? Hammer strength, whatever, Cybex, uh, hammer strength pressing machines. Uh, you can bench press so much, but you can also push to failure and you know work on that individual pec strength still. And that can still give you that slight edge to help you increase your bench strength, blah, 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 your bench strength from week to week. I got my pressing, got a nice pump in my chest. Here you see me do these chest flies. I don't know if I told you guys this, but like this is not my combo. Amazing superset. I've seen a lot of people talk about this, but I got this from Arnold. I don't even know, like, I don't even remember how, but I just remember being a child in the teenager, being like, yo, I've seen Arnold do this, <laughs> and so I'm gonna try. And that's how I found a lot of my exercises, but a press, a push, or a stretch, or like a heavy pull in stretching the muscle. These are great ways to like, alter the tension in the muscle, but still drive these factors that produce hypertrophic responses. My bad, I had to slow it down because I did not want to make a mistake. But yeah, there's variables, there's things we can do to help us get bigger. And that's one of them. You, you, you can alter the tension. You can train the muscle in a lengthened position, in a shortened position. You can train it with heavy forces. You can train it focusing on the stretch. Whatever you got to do to get bigger. The next 30 seconds, guys, going to be a little sped up. So if you want to go ahead and skip through, go ahead, skip through, get back to my wonderful voice. And hey, if you're watching, you like this, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe. I release lifting and nutrition content all the time. All in all, we're all going to become better lifters together. And then we're going to lift off. So I think this is another one of my favorite chest, or one of my favorite chest exercises. Who likes chest that much? Come on. A dumbbell pullover. Man, like you just, you try to get straight elbows, 
But the goal is to just get that arm behind you as low as you can and just come back up. And the reason I like these is they are so darn adjustable. So if you straight elbow it, you take it, you know, as far as you can behind it. You work in your chest, a little bit of shoulders, arms. But if you bend that elbows, it's a tricep extension. So you can bend the elbows and flex up and it can be a really heavy tricep extension or you can keep your elbows straighter throughout the exercise and just work that chest and those shoulders. But the dumbbell pullover is an amazing exercise for a stretch. If you haven't tried it, try it. Go medium to heavy weight. Try high reps. Obviously, when you're starting off, go low, low reps, low weight to get used to it. But once you get into it, I think these can be a very effective addition to your workout. Here you see me doing my chest flies. I guess they're chest flies from the bottom. I'm not even sure what they're called. I did them with a dumbbell when I first started off. Now they're with cables. Cables feel so much better. Like they just, dumbbell obviously there's con constant tension because of gravity, but cables keep the tension that it's, it's pulling. It's on a pulley system. So it's always there. So you want to stand kind of always at tension. Get those arms a little bit behind you. That's why you stand forward so they're at tension even when they're uh, behind you and closer. And then you just want to kind of keep those arms straight, maybe with a little bend, and scoop forward. Scoop forward. Think about squeezing your pecs. Uh, sometimes you see me, I might go from a supinated, so palms up, two palms facing each other to that neutral grip. But these are great. We're getting towards the end of my workout here. So one final stretch, kind of strength exercise. And then you will see me burn out these with some decline push-ups. You see me about to get back down on the bench to do some French press. I am positive I did a couple more sets before this. Just don't have the footage. But again, like, I'm getting my elbow behind my head. I'm just trying to get a big stretch. And yeah, I know it's a little sloppy. Uh, one, I'm... Tri triceps are like a secondary focus. This is my primary bench day. But two, there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time and a place for chi reps, and there's a time and a place for strict reps. I'm trying to get a chest pump today with a little bit of tricep work for the icing. So that's why you see me doing what I'm doing. Uh, I think even the burning was in my arms. You you guys will see me do some crazy stuff when the burn is real, and I'm trying not to stop the set. So I put my legs up, but I kept going. I'm like I said, I'm trying to get a pump. So I'm just banging out tons of reps, flexing those elbows. Only ended up doing uh, these, uh, if you count the dumbbell extension slash pullovers and the tricep press downs for my triceps. So all in all, I really only had three exercises, three, three good chance to uh, a ch wow attack my triceps in a way that would be beneficial towards increasing my bench press, because that's the goal. All of this pressing, all of this tricep and shoulder work, it's just to get to a 315 bench. I just want to be able to call myself a man again. Okay, here you see me grab some dumbbells. Now, I, <laughs> I'm i done with most of my chest exercises, but I wasn't feeling a pump at this point. I think I was feeling in my arms a little bit. Go figure after that set of tricep extensions. But so I grabbed some dumbbells and banged out some incline squeeze press. Uh, I just, if I do benching, twice in one day like two different exercises i just try to switch the angle so i'll do an incline and a flat flat incline incline decline uh i don't want to hit the same part of the pectoral muscle twice it kind of seems redundant so i got some squeeze press but this was my one and only set <clears throat> and then you see me go back to my flies This is my one of my final sets. I'm knocking out some decline push-ups. I love these. These were amazing for the two weeks I did them. That 45 pound plate felt like 100. And if you want to see that, go check out my video. Cause I, I know what it feels like to do a push-up with 100 pounds on your back. Got the video proof. But they are a great exercise for a stretch. A great finisher for the chest day. And like, I was just useless. Like my pushing was useless. Like I could not get off the floor and some may say that's hey you went too hard if you can barely push but i had a recovery i was able to bench or do some kind of pushing shoulder tricep